the Los Angeles Rams and New England Patriots are both expected to be at full strength when Super Bowl 53 kicks off on Sunday after neither team reported any injuries during Friday's final practice sessions. Todd Gurley had been troubled by a knee injury towards the end of the regular season but the Rams head coach, Sean McVay, said his star running back was not an injury concern. He's feeling good, 100%, McVay said. We expect him to play a big role in this game. Gurley was not at his best in the NFC Championship game against the New Orleans Saints, gaining just 13 yards. He didn't have that many touches, but he still played a good amount of snaps, against the Saints, McVay said. We just weren't able to run it as much as we'd like to, because New Orleans did a nice job stopping us. Then, we were in some two-minute situations at the end of the game and the end of the half where you're more inclined to throw it. But I think really our team, as a whole, is feeling really good just having two weeks since our last game and looking forward to the challenge and competing to the best of our ability, Greg Zuline, whose 57-yard field goal sealed victory for the Rams against the Saints, was limited in practice earlier in the week but McVay was pleased with his fitness on Friday. He felt good, McVay said. He hit the ball well. He hit the kickoffs and his field goals really well. That's kind of what we expected, that's what we hoped, and he'll be ready to go. The Patriots' main concern this week had been linebacker Donta Hightower, who missed practice on Thursday through illness. New England head coach Bill Belichick said Hightower had been back to his best at practice on Friday though. He did everything today, Belichick said of Hightower. You could hear him talking out there, and that's usually a good sign with him. He has plenty of energy, both teams will have a rest day on Saturday as they prepare for the biggest game of the season. We've been consistent where we try to stick to our message, McVeigh said. I just think this group is so tight-knit. We kind of know what we stand for. We know what we need to do here. I don't know that there's any motivating words that I could say or anything else. Other than let's just continue to do the little things the right way, one day at a time, have a belief and confidence in one another, play for each other and we trust that good things will happen.